Alright, so today, oh, this is Almighty Jackass, by the way. Today, we're going to be looking at a program that I found online. It's a pretty nice program. It's called XPatter. And what it lets you do is, if you have an Xbox 360 or Xbox One or PS4, PS3 controller, that you've somehow got a program to add in, well, this one does pretty much the same thing. So, I have an Xbox One controller, but, I, but some games don't allow you to use game pads or don't have game pad compatibility so this mostly MMOs so this will let you do that so you can literally click on a button and then you can assign a key you could press the key press the mouse button you can use right click middle the scroll bar click the scroll bar up down to the side if it has it um, uh, my mouse but has sides back and forward page buttons on the sides um, you can choose none, anything on the keyboard, if you have any other peripherals or input devices, I think you can have a secondary mouse on it too, but I'm not sure, I haven't tried it, but it, it's pretty nice, I have a setup for a couple different games here, but um, it doesn't work with everything, I play Neverwinter a lot, and it doesn't seem to work at that, so I'm trying to figure out how, but to get this program, you just have to go to a add fly which is adf dot l y slash one d j lowercase p l q I'll provide a link in the um description and then you wait five seconds up here it'll say skip ad you click skip ad uh it should open up a little pop up here you just close that out and then this will load you download always use download through your browser unless you have mega I don't but I just downloaded it through my browser. It'll work on Chrome too. That's actually the browser I was using when I first downloaded this. It will download. You can. I usually hit save file. You save it, and then open it up here. And I've already have it installed, but it'll just go through the regular install, and then ask you, you know, your language, you know, different settings where you want to install it. So basically, once it's installed you minimize this you get this so what you have to do is you click on this you can I made my own so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go new and then you have to find a peripheral and you you can add a button so basically you or, or how did I just before you add sticks you can enable them you just you just innate you add stuff in you can enable it you enable that press d-pad up so I press d-pad up down on the control left right um, then for like images you can actually add an image so if I was able to make like an Xbox looking image I could or controller take a picture I could put it over it you can move all this around I mean it's pretty cool what you can do with this but for now I'm just gonna go where, where was mine I'm just gonna open mine the window open somewhere around here but um it's it's pretty useful what you can do with it let me see if i can find here that's where the window was behind all my other windows so i'm not going to save that little one but i'll probably open it see i just have this one and then that just has everything i have and then you go over here Oh, there's another window. So you go over here, and you can go to all, and wherever you've laid the x -Pider profile, which to make one of those, you just hit, you just get, um, you go to, uh, where is it? You hit new over here, and then you'd, um, name it whatever, and it has up to eight different layouts, so if you have something, so basically my main one here is for Elder Scrolls Online. I have another one for Wild Star. I have another one for I don't remember what game that is, but this one here is what I try to get for Neverwinter, but I can't get that to work yet. So I, it's a work in progress. But it, it you just have all these different layouts, and I have a Notepad file somewhere that has what each one through five is for. And um, I got this just so I could try and play Wild Star with the controller, and it works. I mean, I just don't like Wild Star, so. But you click on this and it tells you your inputs. My joystick has always been a little off. So you can you can kind of see it's like kind of twitchy. That's kind of normal I guess. But you see um, the different things when you're pressing all the different buttons. 
how it labels them and it does that here too even so I have two monitors so I usually keep these two out so I can see how my controller is doing and I can see and you can use this as like see I'm controlling my mouse right now with the controller so I can I can use this so if you don't like using your mouth or mouse or you have uh, you want to sit far away and just control stuff you can pretty much do that I sometimes I'll have a I think I have another file on here that I use to control movies and crap whenever I'm too lazy to get up off my couch but uh, that's pretty much it it's a good program it's free well 5.7 is free um, I'll provide the link in the for the download and that's pretty much it